In this video I'll be explaining superchargers. Now the purpose of superchargers is to increase the amount of power that an engine produces. So one way of doing this is to burn more fuel during combustion. But you can't burn more fuel if you don't have enough oxygen. So what the supercharger does is it increases the amount of air present in the combustion chamber when you have combustion and so you're going to have you're going to be able to send more fuel, burn more fuel and create more power. So the specific example that I'm going to use here is a root supercharger. There are three main types. There's a root supercharger or blower type, there's a twin screw, and there is a centrifugal uh, supercharger. So for this example I'm going to be explaining the root supercharger. So what happens is you're going to have an engine belt. All superchargers are powered by engine belts rather than turbochargers which use the exhaust gases. So an engine belt is going to rotate this shaft right here which is connected to two gears. These two gears are connected to these two cylinder shaped objects that I've drawn which are going to rotate like this. So what happens here is if we're looking at these cylinders which I, I've drawn a little differently than they actually are. They're not really cylinders. They look more like this. Um, they've got these lobes on them. So these will rotate and as they rotate they pull in air and force it down. So it, this is going to be the intake and this is going to be the top here that you're seeing where these two circles here are going to be these shafts. And so as the air comes, as these rotate very quickly, it's going to pull in air, force it around, and then force it out the exit. Now it's going to be go to the intake manifold. And then from the intake manifold, the valves will open and allow it to go into the cylinders. So it'll look like this from the outside, where it'll have this hole on the top, and then you'll be pulling air into it. Now, this is going to be connected to the throttle body, which will be placed above it, and then it'll pull air down through, go to the intake, and into the engine. So one thing about a root supercharger uh, that differs from others is that it does not actually compress the air. The air compression occurs in the intake manifold. The root supercharger just simply forces it in and makes it come in faster, but it doesn't actually compress it within. The problem with this is that that creates a lot of heat. Another thing to note with root superchargers or blower type superchargers is there's a fixed amount of air that enters per revolution. So with one revolution of these here, uh, you're going to have a fixed amount of air that goes in. Now what this means, it, it, that's a little different from a turbocharger. A turbocharger, it'll spool up and then pull in air, but it's not fixed per revolution. What that means here is that at low RPMs you can get a good amount of power. And uh, another thing to note is the throttle body is going to be before the supercharger in a roots. So you can't have it after, you're going to have it before, where that differs with um, a centrifugal supercharger. So some pros and cons of superchargers, and specifically a roots or a blower type supercharger. Uh, you'll have good low RPM boosts, and once again that's because you're going to have a fixed amount of air per revolution. They're reliable and fairly inexpensive. This is specifically referring to root superchargers. Um, they do not use engine oil. Neither the roots nor the twin screw use engine oil, so that's a, uh, a plus. Um, you don't have the heat issues that a turbocharger has, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, the problem with the roots is because it does not compress the air internally, it does create a lot of heat. Um, that's one downside. Another downside, parasitic drag. All superchargers, because they're powered by the engine rather than the exhaust gases, well then that engine powering it is going to have to use a little bit of its power in order to power the supercharger. So you're going to have a loss um, just by having a supercharger on there. But fortunately, the benefits outweigh the cost there. It's just one downside. And another uh, negative effect that I'd like to mention is that you have a high weight placement. So you've got your engine, and then the supercharger is going to be placed on top, typically, if it's a, a roots uh, type supercharger. So you've got a, a high, uh, you've got a, a mass that's high up on your engine, so that's going to be bringing the, the center of gravity up a little bit, and that's just not ideal. Um, whereas with turbochargers, you can mount them much lower, or a uh, centrifugal um, supercharge you can also mount those lower. And in my next couple videos I'll have a explanation of twin screw and centrifugal superchargers so you guys can check those out. 